to stamp their authority onto the SK Telecom dynasty and make their way to the final. The gap be damned. Champions can fall, gods can bleed. Where were you when the rest rose up to conquer champions? 저는 어느 팀이 와도 크게 상관 없을 것 같고요. 뭐 G2를 다시 만난다면 저희가 복수할 기회를 갖는 거라서 나쁘지 않을 것 같아요. G2를 만난 것도. We did defeat them last time, but that also means that he's probably angry. And I know that angry Fager can be quite scary. There's like a pretty obvious like tier. It's like yeah. the, the one, two, who's going to win tier, which is like the LPL and LCK. And then it's like, who's going to make top four tier? And it's like, it's like you would expect EG G2. Right. But that is actually where more of the upsets have happened. PSG has had their has had their good moments. The PCS has had their good moments. But like Vietnamese League of Legends is always fun to watch. I actually want Saigon Buffalo to get out, and I love the way they play League of Legends. So much gold on Titani. A bit of trading now in the mid lane. Caps does have ignite here. Jojo already burnt the TP. Bob can hear in time to save his mid laner. Some card comes out. A bit of voyage. Cap splashes forward with the ignite. Ticking Caps takes it. The tower will not shoot. The tongue will not lash. But here it is inspired just in time. Cap still trying to dodge away. Oh, no. It gets to the other side and should be able to escape. The tongue lash. A bit of voyage going forward. Caps double dash and manages to survive. Oh my God! Caps just broke Jojo's ankles, man. that aggression. Yeah, just using his ult to actually get it back here, so he's not going to end up losing out way too much. Yarrong will get rooted. Steel is here, though. Can he bait him in? The ignite is ticking as Steel with the flash stun. That's still going to be a kill, though, for Faker as he picks it up. I don't think anyone is going to doubt that Faker versus Yarrong heavily favoring Faker. We're seeing it here. Gala ahead. If he can defend Bin and stop the enemy team aggressing on him, he knows he has trust in his carries. Migala just did, he showed why. It was always gonna be a trade, but a dragon fight has started. No dragon available here for RNG. Jojo again in trouble, he's gonna go down to Gala. And now Gala's gonna keep on going. Big with the wraparound, but KI over the top. And that's two kills for Wei, it's a dragon, it's one of them. Gala gonna pick up yet another kill. It's a double, it's a triple, is it a quadra, is it a penta? That play and said Power Pants to work on the top side, but now Vulcan's got the inside track on him. Ooh, what a stun! Virtual Omen gonna proc, probably gonna be stuck in the mud for a long time now. Power Pants are gonna have to fight his way out, and he's gonna try and tank as much as he can, but there's just not enough left. His impact's gonna grab one. It says, Nah, I'm good with that. Uh, it looks like, oh, hold on. Oh, that's a big calling the Unipod now. No W left. It might have been a bait. It looks like genius. This Shogun just takes out Unipod. 100 to 0. Stop Tanabe's recall. Look, Wingo might have gone a bit too far forward. He's going to flash away from the Orn Horn and try and get the re-engage going in. Juhan uses the Psycho for the Shadow Surge. It's fantastic! You cannot out-team fight this team. They have too many engage tools. They have too many ways to disrupt what you're trying to do.